Garrett, what was it like to have a front row seat to witness history? It was unbelievable. Um, so happy for him. Um, not a more deserving person, in my opinion. Um, the way he goes about his business. It's uh, uh, what a special night for us to be able to witness it. You guys all came out of the dugout, congratulated him. You gave him a, a huge hug. Just that moment, what, can you just describe what that moment was like for the team? It kind of felt like, <clears throat> it kind of felt like, I don't know, we were, we were the only ones there. We were just, it was just a really special moment of togetherness and, um, you know, we're all so proud of him and know how hard he works and, uh, you know, you know, he, he wants to keep it low key like he always does. Um, but yeah, boy, does he deserve it and he deserved hugs from all of us and thankful we were able to share it with him in that moment. On your left with hope. Garrett, you made some Yankee history yourself tonight. 248, what does that mean to you to tie Ron Guidry? Um, it's, uh, I think it's more special, you know, because of what Aaron did tonight, to be honest. Um, it's, uh, it's a really, obviously, uh, a really special number. Um, you know, Gidry was so good for us and so magical. Um, and his record held for so long. It's, it's like, uh, I don't know. It's just, I don't think you, like, dream of it, but it's just to be mentioned in you know the same category as the Yankees legends it's it's kind of, it's a little it's hard for me to wrap my head around it at this point on the front with uh, Brendan hey Garrett Aaron describes some sense of relief in hitting 61 tonight for you guys I don't think it was relief necessarily to see him do it but can you explain the anticipation that you guys have felt uh, since he hit 60 I'm sure everyone's been kind of waiting for this to happen yeah I mean it's you know it's a, a, another level of attention and media and just all the, you know, hoopla that comes with it. I mean, obviously, we're, we're rooting for him, too, as fans and as teammates and friends. Um, you know, but we just try to keep it as, you know, as low-key and as normal as possible because, like he says, if he just – you know, goes out and controls the things he can control. If he just executes his process, then the results come. And, you know, it, it can obviously be challenging when, you know, there's more noise around you. Um, and I think he alluded to that uh, a couple minutes ago here, but um, no one more equipped to rise to the challenge, the anticipation. Um, you know, we've been waiting for it, waiting to get it over with. We're going to be waiting to get number 62 over with, too, um, and get on to bigger and better things, hopefully in October for us. Uh, if you can pass it to Eric. Gary, you've been in a few different big league clubhouses in your career. What is unique about Aaron as a teammate? Um, <clears throat> his... Um, his discipline, really. It's just, you know, he knows what he needs to do. And um, he, he obviously cares. I mean, he's obviously emotional. Um, he's a human being. But um, when it comes to work, it, you know, it, it just, uh, he just, for, for his teammates, for himself, he you know, just tries his tries his best to tries his best to be the same every day. Tries his best to you know uh, stay stay even keel and and somehow finds a way to make an impact on somebody else's day, regardless of how his is going. And you know, there's uh, some special players like that around the league, um, and I can think of a couple I think that have had a similar type of impact, but n nobody on. Nobody quite like Aaron, so. The back right. Garrett, um, you know, around the country, everybody wants to see Aaron's at-bats, and, you know, they're breaking into broadcasts and so forth. Um, for you guys, does everybody pretty much get in the dugout? Does everybody want to be in the dugout when he comes up? I think uh, initially, 
it, it was very much so uh, a bit of a bit of a, 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 like a, cl- people were clamoring around. I, th- I think is the word I'm looking for, um, and it 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 kind of you know hit its peak maybe on the bell curve and died off a little bit. Um, you know, but to be honest, I think you know everybody in a Yankees uniform at, at at some point, regardless of where we are in the season, wants to catch an Aaron Judge at bat live at some point. So it's really not that it's really not that different. So.